Right. Court is calling 2021 CR 5896A, State of Texas versus Kavanda Jackson. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Daniel Escobar for the State of Texas. Defense? Ray Lopez for the defense. All right. Are you Ms. Jackson? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to show you what's entitled Motion to Enter Adjudication of Guilt and Revoke Community Supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? I did. Are you the same Kavanda Jackson who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2021 CR 5896A for the offense of possession less than one gram on November 18, 2021 for a period of two years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, state. Violated condition number five in Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Kavanda Tanae Jackson, did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of August and September 2022 in violation of condition number five. How do you plead to that? True or not true? That is true. Your Honor, state waives all the violations. Any objection? No, Your Honor. All right. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number five, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? Yes. All right. Court will find violation of condition number five true. Is there a proposed agreement? Uh, yes, Judge Sadiff, followed by aftercare and a one-year uh, extension to her probation term. Is that what you're requesting? That is, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Jackson, do you understand what both parties are requesting? Yes. So they want you to go into inpatient treatment. Here are your choices. You can go into inpatient treatment or either I can revoke you. Sometimes I can't give people choices, but I will give you a choice. Here's your choice. You can go to SATA, hopefully get your um, drug issues resolved where you can be clean and sober. I see where I said CPS compliance. So obviously there's children involved. So you can either do that or either I will revoke you and sentence you to 18 months. Which would you prefer? All right. The court will deny the motion. And Ms. Abrams. We'll refer her to status, but however, if there's some mental health issues, then she'll probably need to go to safety. So I'm going to deny the motion, alternate amend con conditions to include status, and if not accepted at status, then it'll be safety, and I'm going to extend her for one year. Is there anything else you need from me, Ms. Jackson? No, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh All right. Probation, this is an application. Court is calling 2023 CR 6579, State of Texas versus Jordan Summers. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Gearhead, Your Honor. Defense? Lynn Member of Defense. And are you Ms. Summers? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have you received all the discovery in this case and did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Summers, did you review and sign a document entitled Application for Community Supervision with your attorney? Yes, did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Showing you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. We're waiving count one, proceeding on count two with this enhancement. And you're going on the enhancement? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Your Honor, sir. Oh, no problem. Any objection to the waivers? No, Your Honor. And count one, you're charged with the offense of possession of controlled substance penalty group one, one gram of four grams. That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. If the state is able to prove up the enhancement, your range of punishment will be two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, 
The fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Summers, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? Off the record. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all need to move to this end. If you want to talk to your client, you need to move to this end. All right, Ms. Summers, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promise you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, state is proceeding on count two. You agree that you've been previously convicted of a felony for purposes of enhancement. Yes, Punishments be assessed at 10 years in the prison. There's a $1,500 fine. State recommends community supervision. They're taking in consideration six, I'm sorry, NIMAG number 6827297374478. There's to be restitution to Live Oak for drug testing and to complainants and NIMAG number 6827297374478. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, ma'am. State? It is, Your Honor. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving the right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have there been any such motions? No, Your Honor. Outside the agreement, state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of 10 years. There be a TAP evaluation, 250 hours community service restitution, no contact with the complainants and night mag number 682729 and 787478. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, then to the offenses charged in count two, how do you plea? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty. And to the enhancement paragraph, which reads... And it is further presented in and to said court that before the commission of the offense alleged above on March 6, 2020 and cause number 2015 CR 11078 in Bear County, Texas, the defendant was convicted of the felony of possession of a controlled substance penalty group one, one gram to four grams. How do you plea? True or not true? True. State any evidence. Yes, Your Honor. State exhibit number one with all those attachments. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. You may continue to confer. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to show you what's entitled wavering consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did yes. you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state will call and the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Uh, yes, Your Honor. All right, and also the court will find the enhancement true based upon your plea of true and based upon states exhibits one and attachments. Is there anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Yeah, I've spoken to my client. She's currently um, has got a job. She's in, in my opinion, the right frame of mind to complete this probation successfully. Given the tools, she understands that she needs some tools and a little bit of help. And we're just going to have to court the commander of the probation um, as as we agree to. All right, who is? That is an old friend from a few years ago. 
I don't know right. if she them. And where do you work? I, I mean, well, what do you do? I'm a PCA at Northeast Baptist Hospital. What do you do there? Um, I'm a patient care associate, so I take vitals and uh, pretty much clean up after the patients. Um, specialize in nursing, and it's in the emergency room, so it's a progressive care unit is where I'm at, where I'm located. So. All right, if you're drug tested today and know you're going to be drug tested today, what are the results going to be? So far, I'm dirty. Dirty for what? All right, so I'm going to tell you what I have a problem with. And I think you already know. We did discuss the possibility. Mm -hmm. All right, because people who are using drugs really shouldn't be care caring for vulnerable people. And I guarantee you, anybody who loves their relative, if they you, knew you were using meth, they would not want you taking care of them be it drawing blood or anything of that nature. So she can't work there. She Good. needs to get a job. I mean, is she telling that company, hey, I'm currently using drugs? Of, of course not, Judge, but we would the court consider um, doing um, zero tolerance drug test now? I mean, she's been working there three months and they've kept her on and she does have a history. So they hired her and it is a very decent job. But do they know that she's currently using drugs? Because the problem is, if she's using drugs and there are patients there that need drugs, then she could potentially end up taking their drugs. I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but people need to stop hiring people to be home health care providers, draw people's blood and do all of this when they have all of these things in their past and they're still doing the same thing. So her history, obviously she's a repeater, which means she's been to prison for drugs. And now she's coming out and she's picking up another drug case and she's currently using drugs. Did you just come from work? No, ma'am, I'm going, I'm going to work. Yeah, but not anymore. So, yeah. And we did discuss the possibility before. All right, do you have any children? No, ma'am. All right, who do you live with? My aunt. Okay. I mean, once she became, comes clean and sober, the court will reconsider things, but I'm sure maybe that company needed somebody and they were taking a chance on her, but my role, I feel like my role, part of it is protecting the community and I can't in good conscience have you being in the position that you're in with vulnerable people and you're using, you understand? Yes, so when's the last time you used meth? Like this weekend, the other one that just passed, probably was Saturday. All right, it'll be more than Saturday if it's still in your system. Other than math, are you using anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, All right. Yes. Pardon, just so would you would you consider allowing her to go and speak to her employee? Maybe take a a week off or have a clean drug test. Maybe they'll give her a week off to continue the position. No, I mean, I can't, routinely I can't trust that. I mean. If they want to come in and say, we know that she's using meth, we know A, B, and C, I'll consider it, but I'm not inclined to grant it because somebody has to protect the vulnerable people in society. So, I mean, you can't use meth and take care of people. You can't use meth and take care of elderly people because they're vulnerable. You can't use meth and take care of children because they're vulnerable. All right, so this is what the court is gonna do. Court is gonna sentence you to 10 years in prison, suspended and probated for 10 years. And if you start doing well on probation, I can always consider different things, but wherever you work, they need to be given a heads up and given a true rendition of where, where you are in your life, you understand? So there's gonna be a $1,500 fine. That will be probated. Proof of employment within 30 days, and your client was wait, late for court today. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Take in consideration NIMAG number 682729, 737478. There's to be restitution, if any, 
to Live Oak for drug testing. If you feel like they're asking for too much for that, we can have a hearing on it. And restitution, if any, and cause numbers, NITMAG number 682729-737-478. Uh, we can do a TAP eval while out of custody. Whatever the TAP evaluation recommends, we're gonna start with intensive outpatient treatment. And we can do a referral to felony drug court. They have a wait list, but maybe they're going to do a graduation soon. There is to be no contact with and the complainants and night bank numbers 682-729-737-478. There should be 250 hours of community service for restitution. The court will not waive those hours. You need to do those hours. Field visits, one time per month until she's in treatment. And then thereafter, it'll be at probation's discretion. There's to be regular random UAs. And I'm going to want 90 sober meetings in 90 days. Probation, is there anything else she needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? No. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. Ms. Summers, I'm not trying to be cruel or mean to you by saying you can't work in that field. But if you think about it honestly, if you had your aunt or some relative that you loved, you wouldn't want somebody who's using to be taking care of them, right? All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Johnny Lamone.